Hey guys, what's up? It's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and you know that means it's time for Warfronts. Well, normally. I was sick all weekend this weekend, and I'm still a little bit sick. Perhaps you notice a slightly deeper tone in my normal baritone voice. Yeah, it kind of sucked. I uh, had to take a day off work, which is really rare for me. In fact, I haven't missed a day at work since this time last year when I was in the hospital for two weeks with a pulmonary embolism. So uh, I really am pretty tough when it comes to minor illnesses. But my job involves me using my voice, and I was voiceless for like two days. Those who don't know about the uh, production schedule that I'm on for Warfronts, I've talked about it on and off over the time uh, since I made the change in the State of the Channels video. But basically, I record Warfronts on Saturday night, Sunday morning. I have about four hours that cross over uh, between those two times, between Saturday night and Sunday morning. And I record it then, and if I don't record it, I don't record it. Because I'm on a very tight schedule when it comes to all this video making. Because you guys who don't know, I have a secondary channel, Big Dave is Cheap, where I play a variety of, of different types of games. Mostly cheaper games, independent games, that sort of thing. That's something that I'm also passionate about in the same way that I'm passionate about Rift. So I split my time between those two channels. A certain amount of time is dedicated to that channel, a certain amount of time is dedicated to this channel, and that's pretty much all I do in my free moments other than play with my awesome kid, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> kind of sad when you say it like that. Anyway, you are seeing some footage from my level 50 mage. This is by no means a brag clip of any sort. This is just some gameplay that I managed to get. And this is, of course, my Pyromancer Dominator spec, which I am practicing with. I'm getting better and better, starting to improve my armor. Uh, and then that's a big, awesome plus for me, because I'm starting to feel the damage output. And I'm also just learning the spec, and that's really, really awesome that I'm getting to the point where I feel much more comfortable with the spec. And that's something that it takes a while to sort of to get into the groove of, if you will. So since we're not having war fronts, I did have about uh, 30 minutes here that I wanted to take and just record some ramblings. I assure you this video is not 30 minutes long, as you can tell by looking at the time. But uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes here and uh, slip this video in real quick in the back door on you, so to speak, and uh, substitute this for Warfronts. It is tough. I want Warfronts to be an every week show, and for a long time it was. I think I went something like 25 episodes without missing one, and it's tough. Uh, for me to have to miss them, especially when it's due to something that's beyond my control, like an illness. So, definitely apologize for that, but I wanted to tell you about what I've been doing in Rift, and, and about the fact that I'm loving Rift lately. Uh, I know I've said this before, but I'm really, really enjoying the game once again. Uh, you know, that sort of year anniversary has kind of reinvigorated me, so to speak, and I'm, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm doing some of the uh, event dailies. I kind of passed up the last couple of events, didn't really pay much attention to them, didn't have much interest in them. But this event, I'm doing the dailies, I'm experiencing it, I'm really uh, enjoying it. You know, getting back into that sort of grind. I mean, that's one of the things that MMOs are about. And if you're a fan of MMOs, that's the sort of thing that you've got to get accustomed to. There is a certain amount of grind in an MMO. And I say grind in a good way. I don't mean the sort of grind that you used to do way back when and you still do in a lot of Korean-based MMOs where you just have to sit there and grind out enemies. I just mean that, that daily grind. Go into, the, uh, go into the quest givers that give out the daily quests, whether they're for a special event or for your uh, specific types of specialized currency. Getting those quests and doing them. And getting those in as many times in a week as you can. And I really, really like that aspect of MMOs because it gives me something that I know I can count on doing each and every day. And what I choose to pepper in between those is where the uh, the game takes on a certain special life. You know, whatever you do, whether you uh, concentrate on crafting, whether you concentrate on uh, running extra dungeons or helping uh, some of your guildies or or whatever it might be, PvP in my case... That's how you make the game yours, you know, run around, do those things that everybody sort of is expected to do or, or should be doing if they want to keep on the on the curve, and uh, and then do the other things that you enjoy in the meantime. I've really enjoyed getting back into that and doing that stuff, and it's really, it's refreshing. It brings me back to the days of, uh, of a year ago when I was first really getting into the game and enjoying it. And, you know, one thing about Rift is they gave you daily quests to do almost from the very beginning. Even in those starting zones, you could get those, uh, you could get those uh, 
Planarite daily quests, you know, kill 10 rift creatures and you could get uh, a few extra Planarite every day. And that was really cool because they, they worked you into that. Then they immediately began to introduce the concept of daily crafting quests uh, not too long after launch. That was amazing. Uh, that gave you a reason to be crafting. You know, aside from the fact that uh, the if you could maintain the curve, the armor was actually pretty decent as you leveled up. A lot of cool stuff going on with the game right now. I'm really, uh, really interested in uh, 1.8 and what it's going to bring. I have to admit, I haven't done m much research into it other than hearing that there is going to be an additional uh, actual raid involved, and that's pretty cool. Even though I'm not a raider, uh, I would love to be able to raid, but it's just not something that my schedule allows me to do. I was a big-time raider way back in the day in World of Warcraft, and uh, I flirted with some endgame stuff in... Uh, Warhammer Online, some of the uh, RVR in-game keep sieges, and uh, same thing with Guild Wars, uh, some of the Guild Wars wars that they implemented, I think in that that was in the second, or the first expansion, what was it Prophecy, I can't remember, the one where you went to Cantor, or the Asian place with the frozen Jade Sea and all that stuff. Yeah, so I used to try to really take full advantage of the, of the high level content, of the max level content. It's not something I've been able to do with Rift, and I really regret that, but it's just the way that my life has gone. You know, I've been playing MMOs now since Ultima Online. I, I mean, I don't, that's literally true. I've probably touched every MMO that's come out since uh, Ultima Online. Some people argue about whether that was the first MMO or, you know, whether another game was more MMO-like or hell, whether the door games that I was playing back on a BBS, like uh, Legend of the Red Dragon, whether that was the first MMO. But uh, I really don't care. I, Ultima Online was the first game where I got that MMO feeling. And I've been playing almost every MMO since then. I mean, I can log into almost everything that's come out of any sort of relevance, and I probably have an account. Uh, Anarchy Online... Uh, Asheron's Call 1 and 2, EverQuest, Dark Age of Camelot, you know, n name them off, and I probably played them. I'm not trying to be some awesome elitist, like, yeah, I played that. Oh, you haven't played that? You're a dick then, because I played that, and I'm awesome. No, I'm not trying to do anything like that. I'm just saying I'm really passionate about MMOs. It's something that I love. It's something that I enjoy. And it hurts me. It really physically hurts me. When an MMO comes out, it doesn't live up to expectations. Warhammer Online uh, is one that comes to mind. Star Wars The Old Republic is one that comes to mind. It really, really pains me when a game comes out and doesn't quite live up to my expectations and what I hope it can be and the promise that it seems to make publicly. So uh, really, really bummed out when an MMO hits and just doesn't, uh, doesn't pop. Yeah. So, uh, are you starting to realize why I call these videos rambling videos? I went into this literally thinking I was going to get maybe three minutes of material and then call it quits. But here we are, almost nine minutes in, and I'm still just jawing. Just a-talking. Alright, well, <laughs> to recap, I'm loving Rift. I have been sick. I'm still sick. I'm actually, I can feel, <clears throat> I can feel my voice going right now because I can't talk more than about five minutes even now, without losing it. So I'm going to go ahead and call it quits, guys. Uh, loving Rift, loving you guys for sticking with the channel. I, I'm just, my mind is blown. New people subscribe almost literally every day, and I don't understand why. <laughs> I mean, I, I love that you guys love my stuff, but sometimes I feel like a giant dork when I'm making these videos, and I guess it's good to see when you guys react to them that I'm not, in fact, a giant dork, and that you like them, and, and you enjoy them, and you're encouraging me uh, to get better at PvP, and some of you are taking the journey with me and trying to slowly get better at PvP, so that's super cool. I'm really, really enjoying the game. I think I've said that about eight or ten times right now, so uh, pardon me for <laughs> repeating myself numerous times, but uh, that's what you get with me. So... Anything else going on? Oh, if you guys want to keep up with uh, sort of the goings-on that, that are Big Dave, you can go to my blog, BigDaveIsCheap.com. That's sort of my generalized blog. It's really more leaning towards my other channel, but uh, I make announcements on there like, hey, I'm sick, guys. And I also hold contests and stuff where I give away uh, games and all sorts of other cool stuff, so you should probably visit it if you care at all about me or my opinions on games, or you just want to try to win some free stuff. So I gave away four, five, five Indie Gala bundles, which consisted of 13 games and nine musical albums. That was about two weeks ago. Yeah, 
I, I like my supporters, and you guys in the Rift side are some of my biggest supporters, so I would love for you to come over there. You may know I had a Rift blog at one time, Tales of Talara, which is why I say this is a big day for Tales of Talara. I had to shut that down due to my own personal lack of interest. I just couldn't dedicate an entire site to Rift. If I know that some of you Rift guys are coming over there and visiting BigDavisCheap.com, I might actually start putting some Rift articles and stuff and musings and thoughts up on BigDavisCheap.com. So uh, check that out if you want. I'll probably put a link in the description below. In fact, there's always a link in the description to Big Dave is Cheap. It's in the uh, very bottom where it says follow me. And then it has links to my Twitter and my website and that sort of stuff. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. Thank you for listening to this crazy rambling session. And until next time, take it easy.